What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we are going to cut hedge. Uh... No, not hedge hog, hedge wood. You have asked for this video, we're going to give it to you. We're going to do some cutting of hedge and a lot of people have wanted to know which one's going to work best between the new pruning saw six inch pruning saw versus the milwaukee fuel m12 hacksaw now we are going to be using the new blades from milwaukee with the hacksaw and these are the axe pruning blades so this is what that is going to look like we're going to put that on there brand new Brand new chain on this uh, Milwaukee pruning saw as well. So both are new. So we're gonna both use four amp hour batteries in both of these and we are going to cut some hedge. So uh, this is what you wanted. It's four inches by the way. So uh, you know, these are meant for around the three inch mark but we're gonna cut four. So uh, go big or go home I guess, right? So let's jump into this video and give you the content you've been asking for. All right, guys, so this is the nine inch carbide tooth uh, pruning blade from Milwaukee that's gonna be used on the M12. Now we're gonna make a couple cuts a piece. We're going to switch these tools and then that way we can both talk about vibration, cut, things we feel are pros and cons uh, of these saws. So we've got the, once again, the six inch little pruning hatchet here. Both of these are running a four amp hour battery. We're going to full throttle both. We're going to have a countdown and then we're going to cut. So I'm kind of curious to see how these cut some hard wood. Uh, so before we get started, comment down below. Let me know which one you think is going to do the best throughout the first cut. Do you think the pruning saw is going to do good? Or do you think the hatchet is going to do good? So uh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, let's All right. <clears throat> ready? Three, two. What? He didn't oh, even yeah. make it halfway through. No, not even close. How'd that one cut? Well, faster than yours. <laughs> Vibration. Yeah, this one was uh, <laughs> bad a couple times once you hit some of those knots. All right, you want to start over here and we'll do it again. Um, and see, that way we're a little closer here. Yep. <clears throat> uh, yeah. And was, do you have enough to hold? Is that why you was there? Is yeah, it yeah, it? yeah, to hold um, it. But if you hold it, I can do, I can do it. Okay, well, up. let's see what it'll do. Try to, try to finish. finish yeah, this. start, start a new one. Yeah, there you go. Dude, go ahead and do that. And the vibration is crazy. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we barely made it. Well, he made it about halfway the first time, maybe close to halfway. Uh, the vibration is crazy on that thing. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> uh, it is. God, I'm kind of curious now. All right, here, let's so let's grab. switch. Um, and that way, because you won't have to have all the vibration on this, I'm yeah. holding it anyway. And we'll try this again and see what happens. And uh, I can't believe that thing just cut so quick. Full <laughs> throttle. You got I'm the whole story. Yep. Full throttle. Two, one, go. Let the saw do the work. barely touching this thing yeah compared to what that thing's going through and that was mine i slipped off the trigger <clears throat> like literally um so 
the one thing I've noticed with this is there is so much vibration. It just, even, even with it right up against the wood, it is vibrating so much yeah. that uh, this is probably, honestly, not something I would want to use to trim trees or anything with. Yeah, I definitely with that go being with, available, go, definitely go with the because salt. this thing, guys, like y'all seen. I mean, watch this. I mean, you can just hear the vibration from that. So we'll. I'm going to cut this uh, with this where we stopped here, and just show you. I mean, you've seen and heard the vibration of that thing. So I mean, it's just crazy, it's crazy. So you just let the saw do the work and uh, stick it up there, let it go to town, and let it eat, man. And uh, if you push too hard, then it will stop. So, once again, of course, you just let this little saw do all of the work. But this thing eats. It's actually pretty impressive. And it's so... I mean, look at this chest down there, too. How, where it's spitting out the sawdust as opposed to that one. Yeah, well, look at this. I mean, this thing is huge where uh where it spits your your sawdust out it's got a huge opening here so i mean it's not it's not getting all up in there like most chainsaws would they have you know a smaller opening than this per se and then all of them that sawdust and stuff is getting caught up in there slowing it down i mean to be hedge guys hedge this thing just eats but this thing just i mean look at that it just spits it out and it just Smooth as butter going through there. There's no vibration. I mean, there's literally hardly any vibration whatsoever in this saw. It's totally amazing. There's no way I would use a hacksaw having this in my arsenal. Just no way whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, especially going against as hard of a wood as hedge is. Uh, and this is this is now, you know. I'm sure neither one of these are, well, this is. I'm sure this ain't meant for cutting this stuff. This is meant for pruning, cleaning wood, uh, things of that. It's meant for more construction type stuff than what we're probably putting it through. But even with that being said, I don't think I feel the need for a hacksaw. I would personally spend my money and buy this uh, pruning saw. Yeah, not with the vibration. I mean, it. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the vibration is crazy. crazy. And then, you know, you're looking at, well, these are on sale right now for like 120 or so, uh, 130 with a battery. These are still 180 tool only, or you can get it with the kit for 250. But automatic oiler, there's so much about this that is just awesome, especially even in this test. So y'all wanted this test. You wanted to see them using hardwood versus a, a hacksaw. So I figured I'd put the new pruning blade on there, give you what you had asked for. So let me know down below, did the results happen the way you thought they would? Uh, if not, then hey, maybe you should really think about looking into one of these. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Danny out.